Hey everybody, very exciting video today. This is something I've been working on for a while, but it wasn't ready to share, but it is now. Uh, so what is it? It's wise being controlled by a very cool touch OSC template that controls a selected channel, all the parameters you care about, the mixing desk with eight different channels of all the parameters you care about, and soundcaster sessions with selected channel volumes, play, stop, and 24 different buttons you can trigger to play your sounds. All custom mapped, all ready to go, and I'm gonna give you all this effort so you don't have to go through mapping it, cause it's painful. So let's just uh, demonstrate a little bit of how it works. Uh, in Soundcaster, I've got a bunch of voices saying one through 24. One, three, five, eight. eight. And I can trigger them as many times as I want. And if I select the specific voice, as I tweak it, I have access to all the different things of each selected channel. So 17. 17. 17. 18. 18's too loud. Let's turn it down. 18. What you might notice is as I'm clicking around, it's updating my selected channel. So if I say wanted to level balance a bunch of things. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, five. Five's too loud. Eight was a little loud. Now you can do whatever you want. All auditioning on that quickly. And tweaking and being creative. This is way better than mousing around, pressing play getting over there with your mouse, maybe adjusting a MIDI controller. It's visually responsive, feels really good on the fingers. But that's not all. There's a mixer view. What does the mixer view do? It's got all eight channels. Whatever the first eight channels are, it auto maps to this. And it gives you full control over the mix. So as you're mixing your game, first eight channels, this could be any categories, whatever it is. You can do nice ear mixing instead of just mouse mousing around and adjusting values. You can actually intuitively mix like you would on a mixing desk. Feels really good. And for each channel, I've got bus volume, pitch, LPF, HPF, makeup, gain. Uh, and as you can see here, if I go to these channels and adjust it, it's adjusting all of them as I tweak it and visually matches. So I'll go ahead and reset those because those are probably ridiculous values. But that's going to adjust. Say I go to a mixing desk with aux buses there and the first eight aux buses auto map to it. Or I go to a physics thing and the first eight physics objects are there. Now I can control those with the same faders. So it auto adapts. What else is cool is if say I'm mixing and I want to adjust a specific voice while I'm mixing, uh, I could play this. While I'm adjusting the mix, whatever I have selected is in this center channel. So it's the mixing desk and whatever object or mix bus I have selected. So I can keep one as a highlighted center channel. And you'll notice it's also adjusting channel seven because I've highlighted channel seven. So if I want that to be my main fader for this and put it in focus on the bigger channel, I can do that as well. Super versatile, really cool stuff. <laughs> Been wanting this for years, finally took the time. Uh, and you won't have to. So let's go into how this works now that you've seen why you probably want this. Uh, first, you have to get Touch OSC and Touch OSC Bridge. Uh, if you haven't done that, I guess that's look up a Touch OSC tutorial. 
Uh, it's not too bad. Uh, you can connect via USB or you connect via Wi-Fi. Either one works. Lots of tablets work. iPads work. iPhones work. Androids work. The new Touch OSC is on every device, which is why this is so exciting. So no reason not for you, for you not to try to use Touch OSC. Then you have to map it in your control surface devices, Touch OSC Bridge, Touch OSC Bridge. This enables bi-directional communication. Then the real pain of it is mapping it. Uh, here is where you have to go through, right click, add and learn binding, assign what it does, what object index it is, and then set up your controller to send the MIDI message to be unique and to make sense then map it out to whatever it's going to receive on the other end so if i go to edit this template you can see voice volume midi control change by the way if you're making a touch osc template or changing it get a keyboard that bluetooth attaches to it so you can type in values instead of trying to do it really finicky on here so this sends 50 and if we go to the mixer and you look for 50 uh, controller 50, that's selected channel, it's up at the top, right there. So that binds to the voice volume of the current selection. And then all these have that. They're all different CC messages or MIDI notes doing a thing. And I had to map it out, drag it out. Uh, they don't copy and paste well in here, unfortunately, so it's a lot of manual adjustments. But I'm going to share this session with you and all you have to do is take this work unit and put it in your project. So if you drop this control surface session in and you don't have other conflicts, this is going to work for you. Uh, you'll just have this as a part of your session. So that's where you're going to put this when I send it uh, right here. It could be under your default work unit. That's fine. You could make a new one and put it in there, but this is what holds these mappings. And this is the key to making this work with your wise session. So get this. And after that's done, you do have to do this, this right here where you hook it up. So you hook that to mixer, you hook that to soundcaster and that's it. Then you hit play, you open up touch OSC, you'll load this template, hit play. And whatever you have selected is going to be adjusted. And that's it. Uh, the play and stop here is unique in that it will do whatever's selected. So if you wanted to focus on something, this center channel and the play and the stop work for whatever is selected. So. You can seven, play six, these other seven, ones, seven, highlight it, and then do. <laughs> so that's it. Uh, if you have further questions, let me know. I'm going to include links to this so you can get all these files and download them and integrate them. Uh, and please, again, share anything you do with this. And if you love it, also please share it. This was a lot of effort and, uh, it's all worth it as long as it makes you have more fun mixing and makes you more productive. And I just love to hear that. So that's it for today. Enjoy controlling wise with touch OSC.